Welcome back everyone to Happy Gilmore's Career Mode on EA Sports PGA Tour. This is part 40 of this career mode. Happy Gilmore in his second season and he is ready for the AT&T Pebble Beach Pro-Am at, of course, Pebble Beach Golf Links. One of my favourite courses. It's been in a lot of video games over the years. And in our first season, I've got to say, we didn't do too well here. Um, I wasn't really happy because I, I really like Pebble Beach. I love doing well there. So uh, we still did badly at Torrey Pines. We didn't really improve there. Of course, we won the first event of the season at PGA West. But this one, I definitely want to do better than we did last season. Still first in the World Golf Rankings. Hovland has actually started to you know, really take it amongst the AI. He's actually above us in the FedEx Cup Rankings because we had such a bad Farmers Insurance Open. But... Without further ado, we're going to go to Pebble Beach for this tournament. Troy Merritt setting an 8 under target pretty early on. 6 to 9 miles an hour wind. So a little bit of wind at the coast here. 8 under. Uh, we're teeing off really late. 12 minutes past 3. So yeah, I think most players would have gone. So we kind of know what we're aiming for. So yeah, hopefully we get another decent tournament here at the beautiful Pebble Beach Golf Links. I'd love to win it. I'll say that, I'd love to win it. So yeah, we do have to finesse shot, of course. Uh, oh, I'll bring up the rules again, just in case anyone's new, blah, blah, blah. We've been improving the power stat only with Happy Gilmore, which is now full. And I have three stat points into, I think it's approach control. And that was purely to get the finesse shot. So I think from now, once I level up, I'm probably just going to put points into accuracy. So that the, so that those dispersion circles actually get a bit shorter. AI level is of course 100. And once we're on the greens, we can't use the grid lines to read the putts. Which is certainly making it challenging. But I've said before, I think it would I think it would be too easy if if I allowed myself to still read those grid lines because it's kind of like I don't know I, that's what sim is all about to me and when they when they kind of added that back to the game it's nice for approaches like for sure it's nice for shots like this because there's kind of real life you know you would have a book but I feel like once you're on the green it's pretty much the same as just reading the grid lines so anyway. Uh, what is it to that bunker? 262 two is a 3-iron. You know what? This might be a time for a finesse. Might be a time for a finesse shot with a 3-iron. Am I aiming too far? I think that'll be alright. Yeah, let's try a finesse 3-iron off the tee then. Of course, the wind is going to push it forward. Fairways quite soft at Pebble Beach, and there you go. Perfect shot. Yeah, we've got no, uh, we can't really fade our shots um, or draw them. I do have shot shaping on, of course, and I, it is quite hard to do because you've got to obviously hit the analog stick in a diagonal direction, and it's quite hard to do without some practice, and it will make the make the uh, rounds a bit longer. Okay, is this one for a finesse, or have we got a have we got a club for an approach? I don't think we do actually. I think 60 degree is too short. But then 54 is just going to be taken by the wind. So let's get the finesse shot out here. So that we can be precise. And I think I'm going to go with a 54. Aim about 118. Let's aim 118, yeah. And the 54 degree from Happy Gilmore is right on it. Oh one at Pebble Beach. Of course the green here is still a nightmare, so this this is no gimme. Uh it's one point four degree below. I don't see so much turn, but it might genuinely be because that it's all sloping the same way. <laughs> like I do think this is gonna turn. But birdie on one though. Oh my goodness. We didn't hit it. We didn't hit it. Underswing 1.3%. I think we did actually have the line. But it is going to be a par on one, unfortunately. And I do know that last year, it was a real kind of, why don't you just go home ball round, you know? <laughs> like, I think a lot of my shots, a lot of my putts barely missed the hole and it was very frustrating. Okay, the par fives now, though. We have so much power in our game compared to the last time we were here. You know what? So much so that I think I'm just going to drive off this tee normally because this is not a long hole. Power drive has a lot more like random dispersion. I want to hit the fairway here. And we're going to hit the tree instead. Damn. I really didn't expect that. I thought it kind of goes beyond the tree regardless. 
Okay, we're still 240 though. We can still reach that. Uh, I don't really want to finesse it because the finesse with the long irons, it rolls out so much anyway. But we can definitely go at this with one of these clubs. Five iron maybe? Five might be too long. Now nah, I'm going to hit a five. I'll dial back a five a little bit. It's uphill, so it might be okay. Happy with the five. It's off to the right a little bit. Does it come back? Oh, it, well, it kind of does, actually. It's going to sit in the rough. 11 yards away. Definitely looking to get off the mark here. You know, birdie at the very least from here. Flop circle is just still a little bit too big for me. But a pitch isn't easy from here. What about chip? Is the chip just ill-advised from here? <laughs> it's going to catch that slope quite a bit. That's that's the only issue. The pitch is probably too short. Oh, no, we can hit a pitch. Okay, I'm going to hit a pitch. This might be crazy. But I'm going to try and catch the fringe, actually. I'm going to try and catch the fringe and just have it go left a little bit. Happy with the pitch. Oh, it's so close to going in. All right. Yeah, it's uphill after the hole, so it doesn't actually go too far. Six and I, there's probably going to be a tiny bit of right turn on the way back. I'm just going to aim right edge. And we get it. Okay. Birdie on two. Happy Gilmore's off the mark at Pebble Beach. We will need to get it done on some other holes, not just the par fives. But yeah, we're teeing off right at the end of the day. An eight under leads the way. I thought it would be um, maybe a little bit better than that, but maybe someone else is still there. Uh, Waiting in the wings to hit a better score. Get a better target score for us. I'm just going to hit an iron again off the tee, to be honest. You know what? That might be too far. Oh, no, it's not. It's perfect. I'm doing this straight after an impossible challenge round where the winds were really up. <laughs> so, uh, in 2K23. But yeah, 6 to 9 miles an hour wind. Not quite, not quite as strong. Looking at Alright, yeah, so this pin is quite nice here. We just need to make sure we get it on. And again, of course, the winds aren't that strong, but they are... They're going to bring the, affect, the, affect the ball a little bit. Nine iron approach. Almost a perfect swing. And it's actually still a little bit short. Yeah, the green here is quite flat, but I've left myself with... Quite like a lot of work to do there. <laughs> so I think this is going to turn gradually to the left the whole way. Can we get a long birdie putt in on three to move to two under? Does it come back? Yes, it does. Oh my goodness, what a putt. What a putt on hole three. And two under three free free. Feels so much better than one under three three. <laughs> Taking the obvious there, aren't I? Okay, here is the reachable par four, and it's definitely reachable for us now. Of course, it's got a very narrow kind of entryway to the green, but I will just try and smack it up there, somewhere close. All right, tiny bit of overswing. Is it going to go all the way through? Does the fairway kill it? Oh, the fairway slows it down needed that bounce otherwise it would go all the way through we're going to have a tricky little downhill putt but this is for eagle so i'll take it and i think this is going to turn right because i believe this green kind of turns that way so i'm going to aim all the way out here a bit of a lag putt take a lot of power off for eagle does it keep turning does it keep turning oh Good pace, really good pace actually. Still goes by, but Happy Gilmore is going to get to three under through four at Pebble Beach. And it, re it really should be four under because of that part on the first, but you know what? It's all good. All good. Can't change anything that's happened. We just keep moving forward, and three under through four is a very good score. Look at me rhyming. How about I just go eat some hay? <laughs> uh, the movie's so stupid. I love it, though. You know what I keep forgetting to mention as well? Apparently, the second one is in production now. Like, I keep forgetting they're actually making another one. Like, what are they going to do? Hope it's good. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't think we need to finesse here. Just a seven iron. Almost the same distance. Let's go at it. Bit of underswing on that. 
but it is downhill anyway. And I tell you what, the distance is still really good. It's actually just too far left. But it's not bad at all. We've got 17 feet for the birdie. Now this, for birdie. Really not a whole lot to this. He's going to get a little help from the slope. Yeah, I don't think there's too much. I think it is going to break right a little bit. Maybe like where I am. But then I think it straightens out. Can we get another one? Can we get another one? Oh, it just broke a little bit more than what I gave it. Good effort. But we're finally going to get another par. Three birdies in a row. Bookmarked by a par either side. And uh, I think we have another par five now, right? We have the uphill one. Really nice hole, this one. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay. Uh, is it worth power driving? Because this is a really short hole anyway. I know the fairway is quite wide, but I don't think there's any point in risking it even. Just going to hit a regular drive. It's gone a bit left. Could be okay though. Yeah, it's okay. You know what I mean? Like power drive, that might have gone even more left. And then suddenly we're going to struggle to reach the green. But from there, we should have absolutely no issues reaching that green. And I can finesse this, I think. Uh, maybe a 7. Yeah, because it's really uphill and there's quite a bit of wind. So I think a 7. I think a 7 will be fine. Oh, a lot of underswing, though. A lot of underswing. Would have been absolutely perfect power if we didn't underswing, but it was going right all the way anyway. But we are on there for an eagle. And it's uphill. Quite a nice putt. And, um... I don't think it's actually going to turn that much. I, I'll, I'll aim right because of the aboveness, but I think it actually goes the other way at the hole. I'm going to give it this much, but this is for Eagle. Have we got it? No, it's a little bit short, but we're within two feet. Two feet, five inches. And this should be another birdie. And Happy Gilmore is on his way. I need to remember to like check what score I got in the previous season. When I play these tournaments. Pebble Beach, I think we were like three under. Honestly, I don't think we were that good. Two or three under, maybe. Just the luck wasn't going my way for that tournament. But Happy Gilmore has come back and has made a very strong start. All right. Here is this par three. But there's quite a bit of wind here. The pin, of course, is right at the back. Back left. So, yeah, I'm going to go for a 54 degree. And I'm going to still aim a little bit past the hole because I, I still think the wind is going to bring it back a bit. 54 degrees, slight underswing. I think it's too far left. Yeah, it is. Man, again, the distance was spot on. Absolutely spot on, but either the dispersion or just the wind that I didn't judge right has sent it into the rough. And this is a chip where we just have to catch the front because it's going to roll. This one's going to roll quite a bit down that slope. But it's always got a chance to go in because there's not actually much movement in this. Oh, it just moves off to the left. Yeah, in hindsight, I should have aimed that more left because it had plenty of time to catch that hill and move left. But it's all good. We'll tap in the par. And Happy Gilmore will stay at four under. I'd love to get to five before the turn. If we can get another one. The leader is still eight under. Maybe that is the target. <clears throat> Maybe that will be the target for this one. Okay, oh, Tailwind. Okay, yeah, just got to be mindful of this one, of course, because there is uh, there is danger on the other side. I might just 5-iron this. Just to play a little bit safe. That's gone left. Please don't tell me that's in the rough. Okay. Fairway's wider than what I remember. So yeah, very safe shot. We've got quite a lot to go now. But, you know, this is a tough hole. I'd say that this is probably one of the tougher holes at Pebble Beach, right? This one. Like, this is this is quite a tough hole. Okay. So the wind is with us. It's downhill. Is it a 9-9 approach? Because I feel like 8 is too long, is it? Okay, I think it's time for a finesse because I don't like the distances here. Kind of between. So I'm going to hit an 8 iron, 175, I think. Pretty decent swing. Have we got the distance? Does it bounce? I tell you what, it does. That is not bad on this hole. 
That's not bad. We've left it below the hole, which is quite good. It's going to be really uphill. Dead center on the read. Got to keep the pace up and get it up the hill. It's dead center. I'm going to aim right edge, Nota. Uh, but besides that, I'm going to trust you. Okay? <laughs> this is on your head if it's not dead center, if it moves more left. All right? Here we go, though. Oh, my God, Nota, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It actually turned the other way because I aimed... Did I aim right edge or inside? Because if I aimed right edge, that's entirely my fault. <laughs> All right. Well, maybe if you were consistent, Nota Begay, you know, because you, you you said earlier it was straight in and it wasn't. <laughs> oh, man. Just never know. Just never know whether to trust him. Anyway, we're four under through eight <laughs> as we move on to hole nine. Can we get to five under before the turn? Right, I don't think there's any... I'm, I'm a bit conscious of that TV tower, to be honest. Okay, well, it didn't go right, so that's fine. I think it would have gone over it anyway. But that's all good. No need to bring the power drive out here. That ball is going to roll down that hill. 124 yards. I believe the pin on this one is quite tough. Yeah, it's tucked away. Okay. This is quite good distance for just a standard approach with a 54 degree. Alright, a bit of overswing. Need the wind to push that left as much as possible. You know what? It's not bad. Uh, really nothing wrong not bad. Going to be a, a little tough little birdie putt from there. Up, still, up the hill. Maybe a All right. I think this one's turning slightly right. Let's go for it. Happy for the birdie. Why did I adjust, man? I had that. I adjusted and didn't give it as much. Seriously, that would have gone in. Like we had that dead center if I didn't adjust it. Ugh. I had no reason to adjust it either. It's not like we can see this shit. <laughs> it's not like we can actually see. All right, Troy Merritt, still the target. Scotty Scheffler's on there somewhere. He's finished, though. So we need four birdies or maybe an eagle and two birdies on this back nine to match the leader and we can absolutely do it there's two par fives to go and i'm fully expecting to score on both of those so if we can pick up two birdies somewhere else i think we'll have the eight under at least come on we've got the finesse shot now i'm going okay with it this round okay this might be a finesse actually as well <laughs> this might be where it comes out okay 54 degree i'm gonna aim pin high i think all right, let's just hope this is accurate. Almost the perfect swing. This one's looking good. It does look good. Just needs to sit. Oh, it's not quite as close as I'd want it. It's only 12 feet, though. It's only 12 feet, and I don't think there's too much movement in, on this green. Is it to the right? Oh, man, I don't know. I'm going to trust that thing bottom right. I'm going to trust that it's going to move right. The birdie. Oh my god. We've had so many. Again, to be honest, like this is another kind of why don't you just go home round? <laughs> like you know, we had the part where Nota Begay was right and we were wrong. We had the first hole, which was really close. We've had that hole. Oh man. Some of the parts have gotta drop. Some of the parts have to drop. The Happy Gilmore. This is a short par four. This is the one with the nightmare green. I know that. We can get this pretty close now, though, with our game. Okay. I'm going to go with this with the power drive, you know. I'm a bit left. Is it going to slow down before reaching that rough? Yes, it is. All right. 68 yards to go. See, this is where the finesse is going to come in handy. And I can still zoom in as well. Like, these are the shots here. Because before, I didn't really have a shot from here at all. And I, would, I wouldn't want to get within this distance. But now we have chapter complete on proficiency at Pebble Beach. <laughs> Love it. All right, because the wind is kind of with us, I don't think this ball is actually going to spin back too much. It is uphill, though. So this is just 
a straight up 60 degree. And I'm really hoping this one's going to be close. Needs to spin back now, actually. Oh, man, the overswing. If it, if it wasn't for the overswing, I bet that's really close. But we've got a putt to make down the slope. Yeah, this is a really awkward place to putt from on this green. I don't think there's too much in it. It's mainly downhill. Can we get another birdie? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Good read. Finally, another birdie after four pars in a row. We move to five under. The two par five still to go, and someone has matched Merritt, but they've finished as well. So the target is still eight under. As we move to this par three, pin is right at the front. That's a really tough pin. Really tough. Uh, I think it's just going to be a seven iron drive. There's no point in playing a finesse shot, really. The drive with a seven. Wow, that looks pretty decent. Sit. You can't hit much better there, <laughs> honestly, with that wind and that pin. But we've given ourselves 14 feet for the birdie. Now this for another birdie. I think this is turning right. Downhill as well. Can Happy Gilmore get to six? Oh, it's so close again! <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. Pretty much every part is going to be close, isn't it? You know, we can we can kind of see what way the green is going generally, and then it either goes in or it doesn't. Except for the long putts, at least, where, you know, we just want to get it close to the hole. But we remain five under, six holes to go in the AT&T Pro-Am. Pebble Beach. Quite a wide fairway here. It narrows a bit later, though, so I don't want to hit a power drive. Gonna hit a regular drive. Hopefully that stays in. Looks pretty good. Yep. Happy Gilmore. Another fairway. At Pebble Beach. 111 yards to this one. Can we get it done? Ends at the front. This might be a finesse again. I think it is, you know, because we're a little bit between. Okay. Finesse with a 54 degree. It's uphill. So I think 116 might be okay. I don't want to take on that left side too hard, though. Perfect, perfect. Is the shot good? Yes, it is. What a shot. Deserved for the perfect, perfect. Now, can we get a putt from this short distance to get to six? Yes. Happy Kilmore gets the six under at Pebble Beach. A clean scorecard. And now we move to this par 5, and I want to score here. This is this is probably the toughest par 5 out of the lot. It is one of the most difficult par 5s in championship golf, isn't it? It certainly is. It? It's not just because of the length. One of the most difficult in championship golf. Oh, I guess the trees, actually. The trees make it really awkward. Okay, but the wind is kind of with me. The only thing is, on sim, of course, this is a bit of a blind tee shot. Like, I can't really tell where I'm aiming. I think this is going over the bunker, I think. I don't really want to hit a power drive, really. Oh, happy. Okay, it's still got a lot of distance, but happy almost, like, sent it to the right. And that is the one direction where it's just going to hit the tree. <laughs> oh, it's not a good lie. Oh, dear. Well, this is going to have to be a pure three-shotter from us. Man, that's a shame. Okay, just going to hit this with a six iron. Well, hopefully that one goes in. No, that one's not in either. What are we doing? What are we doing out here? I really should have considered that that wasn't going the whole way. Alright, thankfully this lies better, but... I mean... Be lucky to get a par now. <laughs> right, so this is really uphill, so I'm going to hit a 54 degree. I think I'm just going to hit it straight up. I think we have to forget the birdie now. And get it somewhere else, unless... This is a solid shot. Fifty-four degree. Yeah, it's too long. 
It's too long and it's actually going to roll off into the rough as well. What is happening on this par 5? What is happening? Right, let's just get the par. Make sure we get the par and move on. We've got to pitch it up here. It is actually downhill on this side, so it should should catch those slopes and roll down a little bit. And it will do just that. It actually almost goes in with the birdie still. But we should be getting out of here with a par now. Still a lot of turn in this, actually. All right. <laughs> we get the par, but now we've got to get something else somewhere. That's really disappointing. Uh, yeah, especially if that's going to be the difference. And uh, I'm going to blame Happy Gilmore more for that one than myself. <laughs> All right, short par four. Short par four. This could be the time to get it back straight away. You know what? I might power drive this. I might power drive this just to get as much distance as possible. Nice and straight. There you go. The Happy Gilmore special. The Happy Gilmore special. And you know what? This might be too close now, even for a finesse. Well, it's 30 yards. Okay. That might have been a mistake. <laughs> uh, what are the options? Just the pitch. Yeah, the pitch is the only option. Mm, I might have screwed myself over with that. It would have been much better just to have like a 60-yard finesse. But okay. All right. We could get it done from here. We do kind of have to just pitch it and catch the front. It is uphill, so it should slow down quite quickly. But that that's what we've got to do here. Stop, 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 stop. Yes, wonderful. Wonderful pitch shot. the benefit of really bombing a tee shot down there. You get a simple little chip, you knock it close. Surely we birdie from here, and we do. Happy Gilmore moves to seven with three to play. One shot off the lead. And is he going to get a second win in three tournaments to open the season? We might be looking at another playoff here. If you want to pick out something on the horizon there, it's it's on the cards it's definitely on the cards uh this tee shot yeah this is really downhill this tee shot it's a bit of a weird one okay i think where i'm aiming is fine i think oh we're aiming we're happy's aiming is not that's got more left oh that's that's way too long oh my god <sighs> What are we doing? Why, why not just three wood it? You know? Like, why not just three wood it? Make sure you're in the fairway. Like, I massively underestimated how far that ball is going to go. And now we've got an absolutely nightmare shot. Is, the, is this going to go over the tree? <laughs> I mean, that's, that's what it's about here. I think this is the only shot I can really play. 60 degree. I could punch it, but then of course it's not going to stop. It's just going to go all the way through. So we're going to have to just bank on this getting over. Okay, it does. Could it be good? Could it be good? I think it's going to spin back too much. Yeah, I'll take it. Honestly, I'll take it. From where we were, that could have been much worse. We're on the green. We do still have a chance for a birdie. It's not a good one, but it's a chance. It's going to turn really hard to the left, I think. Right, for birdie to get to eight. The tie for the lead. Oh, it's close again. It's not bad at all. Not a bad effort. Without the overswing, it could have gone in. But you know what? After after that tee shot, guys, I'll take the par. Oh, <laughs> it almost didn't turn. I'll take the par. Hopefully, no one gets to nine. I mean, no one no one has yet. We won't be able to see them on that leaderboard now unless they uh unless they get to nine. But you never know. Eight, eight under might not win. It, it, that's a pretty you know it's not the best score for the leading AI to get. So someone could come and beat it. So it's not done yet. All right. I think a finesse seven for here. Not too much movement on the green. Of course, the wind is going to slow it down. Happy with a seven finesse. Looks good. It looks good. You know what? Without the underswing, again, 
That's much closer, but we underswung it a tad. And we're on the front of the green. Okay, I I think it turns to the right at the hole. That's what I was trying to memorize, like, you know, the grid lines. So I might actually go straight at it, because if it turns left at my feet, I think it's going to come back. But this is for birdie on 17, again, to get to 8 under. Yes! Yes! Hole 17! It was straight in. It did turn to the right near the hole. And we are tied first, a three-way tie. As Happy Gilmore steps out on the final tee, but this is a scorable par 5. We have to get it done here. We have to get to 9. We don't know if 8 under is even going to be the best scoring AI. We don't have to power drive this. I, don't, I really don't think we do. Like, is it worth the risk? It's so beautifully framed by the bunkers. And then when you start to look at the tee shot... You know, because we can still go at this. Just leaving the tree there in the middle of fairway. It's going to be less than 200 yards. Yeah, I'm just going to drive it, guys. I'm going to drive it normally. It's the only tree on the hole, too, because that upcoming second shot, you have another tree short right to contend with. Gone a bit left, but it should be okay. Yeah, perfect. This is the one. Perfect. We've cut the corner quite a bit there. And we have 190. I'm fine with that. We we probably would have been like literally one club less if we did power drive it. So I think really we just go for the green, don't we? I don't think there's any point in really taking the pin on too much. It's quite a lot on the left there. Seven iron approach. I think we can do that. Yeah, seven iron approach. Can we go any further back? Yeah, 190. We'll do that. Alright, looks right all the way. Good though. It's not actually that far away. It's just middle of the green. Good shot. And I'm pretty sure this is just going to gradually turn left the whole way. So we can have a go at this. If we get this in, it's a 10 under round at Pebble Beach. We're, gonna, we're looking at 9 under at the very least. But let's see if we can finish at 10. Happy for 10 under at Pebble Beach. We gave that way too much. Yeah, I don't know why I gave it that much, actually. <laughs> I literally said it's gradually turning left. Not that much. But surely it's going to be a birdie at the last. And it is. Happy Gilmore, 9 under at Pebble Beach. Is it enough? It's a 5 under back 9. Does anyone match it? There are still players out there. No one matches it. Happy Gilmore wins the AT&T Pebble Beach Pro-Am by one shot. Over three players. Oh, what a tense tournament again. I was always confident that we would score on 18. It was just about the holes before that. And on hole 17, Happy gets it done with a birdie. The finesse shot does come in handy on a lot of those birdies, actually. Hole 17 as well. You know, I hit a finesse shot approach there. And it definitely worked out. And a bit of redemption at Pebble Beach, or a lot of redemption at Pebble Beach, going from a lackluster round in Season 1, coming back and winning. One of my favourite courses in the game, so I'm happy with that one. But yeah, thanks very much for watching that, guys. Thanks for being here for Happy's second win of a tournament. I have said we've been going, we're going to go for a record-breaking season this time. I don't know what the record number of, like, tournament wins is in a season. I think it's really old, right? Someone got, like, 11 or 12 wins in a season or something like that. Like, it's going to be a nigh unbeatable record these days. <laughs> but uh, yeah, FedEx got rankings. We've shot back into the lead. Hovland didn't have a good tournament. And there you go. All right. So what's next? I might skip this, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. I might skip the stadium course. I know it can be quite fun towards the end of it. But, you know, there's nothing too special to me about the tournament. But then again, it is a licensed tournament. So, so maybe not. And of course, we are trying to level up again before the masters happens so i think near the start of this season you know a lot of these big tournaments are front loaded so yeah i'll, I'll do waste management phoenix it's a fun one it's happy, happy gilmore's gotta love it there right so we, we we can't miss that yeah we'll do that genesis invitational might go back to the florida classic the wetlands because we did win there that was our first win so i might try and defend that arnold palm invitational the players EA Sports Championship, and then it'll be the Masters. But yeah, remember to leave a like on the video, guys. Subscribe if you haven't already. Happy second win of the season, and he'll be looking for a third at TPC Scottsdale next week. So thanks very much for watching.